Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today is National Nail Tech Day and I am so excited to celebrate this day. Um, it is the first year that I have been able to say I am a licensed nail technician <laughs> and I'm very, very, very proud of myself and very excited. Um, it's such a huge accomplishment, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Uh, so I'm going to make a little video here and I'm going to feature some of my absolute favorite products. Um, so a couple people have asked me about when I did this set of nails, I put the IBX boost system on. So I'm going to show you how to do a fill with that because a few people were wanting to know and um, just do a little nail design for you and kind of talk you through it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay guys, so I'm going to start out by removing my old design and I'm going to do that with this medium flame bit here. I will do my very best to link everything in the description box below, so check down there if you're looking for something um, specific. So I'm just going to do this real gently to take off the old design. Okay, now that I've got the majority of the bulkiness and the glitter and all the extra stuff I had on there uh, filed off, I'm going to go in with a fine bit, and this is just a ceramic bit, and I'm going to use that to remove the colored gel because I don't want to take off um, a lot of bulk because these are very thin to start with. Uh, they just have the IBX Boost on there, which is a gel overlay. So it's on there pretty thin. Um, they have grown out a good bit. I'm gonna do some reshaping and uh, probably build the structure up just a little bit more because I'm gonna keep them longer. And I will do that to all my nails and I will meet you back for the next step. Okay, so now that the design is filed off, we are going to shape the nails and make sure to take care of any lifted spot. I do get a significant amount of lifting now more so than ever because of what I do with my hands. Um, they're constantly being bumped by the drill when I'm holding somebody else's hand. Uh, they're constantly in acetone and all kinds of stuff. So they they tend to lift and crack and break and because that acetone eventually over time just eats through and they start looking pretty rough. But it is the nature of the job, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and shape these. I might just do like a tapered square shape and I'll get that and I'll uh, take care of any of the lifting by filing it off and then I'll come back and show you the cuticle prep work. Okay so the nails have been shaped and uh, filed and I took care of the lifting and now you just want to go in and push back your cuticles. You want to really pay close attention to this step. This is very important too. Uh, make sure you're removing any dead skin from the nail plate, that cuticle, and you're taking care of any lifting that you might have. If you just go ahead and put your product on over like a lifted spot, you're going to have bacteria grow under there and that's how you get your greenie. Um, you'll be trapping moisture and bacteria and all kinds of stuff in there. So it's very important to file off any lifted spots and make your enhancement flush with the natural nail and then of course remove all that dead skin because that will cause it to lift again. The only thing that I do with this uh, system is you're, you don't have to file your nail, you don't have to rough it up or anything. It's got really great adhesion. The only thing I do is I take a white block and I just buff over um, on the natural nail just to smooth out anything and make sure that I 100% got all the dead skin removed. So let me grab that. Just really, really light and gentle and that just helps to ensure that all that skin has been removed from the nail plate. Then you wanna take your isopropyl alcohol and I get mine from Sally's and it smells like cherries and my clients love it. It smells so good. <laughs> and clean the nail and it is ready to go okay guys so this is the ibx boost system and um i did uh do like a unboxing review type of video already on this system i will link that up here you can go check that out this stuff is amazing i really love it this is your base and this is your gel um they 
They work really great for natural nails. It doesn't, it's not a, a thick builder gel for like building out enhancements, um, but as an overlay on a natural nail to give that nail the added strength it needs to stay long and not break, it's an amazing system. And the adhesion is really great. Um, and as I said in the other video, you can uh, just go right over top of the inhibition layer that this leaves behind with any gel polish of your choice. And of course, today I'm gonna to be using two of my favorites, which are Madame Glam and Born Pretty Store. And this is their uh, Peacock Holographic Gel and in the shade Destiny Fairy. And I'll show you that real quick because it's gorgeous. And if you haven't watched those videos yet, you are missing out because these gels are stunning. So sparkly, so pretty. Um, and then I'm going to use Madame Glam in the shade Deep Sea Dream. I think I'm going to do like a little mermaid design here. Let me show you how to use this system right here um, when you're doing a fill. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Light Elegance Oval Number no. 4 brush. Uh, I love to use this brush for any gel. And then I also got the polish brush as well, and it's so good for gel polish. Um, the little potted gels, oh, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the first thing you do, of course, you know, you do all your prep and then you cleanse the nail with your alcohol and it's ready to go. You go straight in with your base, just like you would when you put it on initially. So very thin layer of your base and then you cure this. And this is very, very important. You guys make sure whatever system you're using, you follow the manufacturer's instructions, um, read them, make sure you're curing for the proper times. Not all gels are the same. Generally, you cure a gel for about 30 seconds in an LED lamp, two minutes in a UV, but check those instructions because it is very important that you are curing it for the proper amount of time so you don't have a service breakdown. Your product is not going to uh, work correctly if you don't do that. So make sure that you are checking all of that. Just making sure to get that product on there very, very thin, and then I'm going to go into the lamp and cure. Okay, once your base is on, you're gonna go in with the gel here. And this is got a really beautiful consistency to it. Um, the viscosity, I would say, is like a medium, and it self-levels really well. So what you do now is you want to fill the nail. Um, I have a few places here and let me see if I can focus and show you normally when you're doing like a gel fill you're just gonna do a back fill um, and you don't really have to put a whole lot over the rest of the nail like I mentioned earlier my nails have gotten a bit longer so I am gonna thicken up the whole of the nail but I do have here I don't know if I can get the angle to show you this one had a lifted spot down on the free edge right here so I'm just gonna make sure that everything is even and I'm building up, can't really see it. <laughs> Sorry guys, you can kinda see it a little bit right there. Um, but I'm just gonna make sure everything's built the way it needs to be. Um, so when I do that, I like to go in with a wetting layer or a slip layer first. And you just apply a thin layer of the gel all over the nail, nice, thin, and even. This is going to help your gel self-level. It's also going to tell the, the big bead of gel where to go. Um, if you have it down in your cuticles, the gel is going to go down the cuticles. So make sure that this wetting layer or slip layer is applied perfectly. Okay, now you're going to go in with a bigger bead. Okay, so I'm just going to place that bead right there on the back part of the nail. I'm going to let it self-level just a little bit and then I'm going to start working it down the nail. You want to um, make light contact with the gel, stay in contact with it, not pat. It's more of a drag and tickle. So work it up by the cuticle there and then start working it down the nail, side to side, dragging it where you want it and to the free edge and then it will start to self-level. You can also go back in and make sure you're getting 
that apex right where you want it. And then flip your nail upside down and let gravity do the work for you because this is really going to give you that beautiful apex. Make sure it's nice and flat so it's not going to one side or the other. And then once you're happy with it, you want to cure it. Okay, and now that that first layer is cured, you can go in with a second layer. If you're happy with the way it is, you can leave it that way. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more because it is just, they are just a little bit long. And I think I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit thicker. So I'm gonna do that and then do the same with the rest of the nails. And I will meet you back when that is all done. Um, just real quick though, I want to mention I'm doing the exact same thing I did the first go around, wedding layer, then the big bead, and then drag the gel into place. And I want to mention also make sure you're capping that free edge with your gel to seal it in all the way around the nail. That's really going to help a lot. Okay, I am all done with the fill. So hopefully that answered any questions about how to do a fill. Basically it's the same as when you put it on originally. Um, if you don't need to add any thickness to the free edge, you can just backfill it like you do any regular gel. Um, and you do your base over the full uh, enhancement, natural nail, and what's left on the nail. So that is that part. Um, now on to the fun art part. I and can't. since I am I'm trying to teach you guys a little bit about gel and stuff as I go along, I just want to mention that you want to take your brush and wipe off the extra gel back into the pot and then just take a lint-free wipe, I just have a paper towel here, and wipe off the extra. Kind of shape your brush so it's not all spread out, so it fits back into the cap. Um, you don't want to spray it with alcohol or anything like that, you want to leave it um, what they call jelly, uh, so it has a little bit of gel left in it, and then keep it somewhere dark so light can't get to it and cure those bristles. This will help keep your brush from like getting dried out and all frayed and fuzzy. So that's how you store your gel brushes. Okay, so I'm happy with how this turned out the shape and everything. I like how the apex is. Um, so I'm not going to file these, they're smooth enough for me, um, but you can go ahead and remove the inhibition layer, file them into shape if you need to, um, or you can leave that tacky layer that's on there and go straight in with your gel, which is what I am going to do. Okay, so I have a couple stamping plates here and I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do for design yet, but I've been giving everybody mermaid nails and I'm so jealous because I want them myself. So this is a recent purchase that I got. This is from Bundle Monster. It's the TwiStar collaboration plate. BMXL211 and it is like the little mermaid kind of mermaids on it and of course it has this beautiful mermaid scale print which I love so much this turns out perfect every time um, over here you got your little sea foam image um, and of course you've got Ariel herself and a couple of really small mermaids on here and then another really pretty picture of Ariel and her beautiful hair these make beautiful um, reverse image uh, stamps if you want to do something like that and it's a really cute plate it does have a couple small dolphins in here if you like those oh. and I recently picked up this plate here this video isn't up yet but um, when I get it uploaded I will put the link here so if you're watching this video later um, you can go click that if you want to see this and three or two other uh, Jubis plates and we've got a Jubis EJBXO2. Oh, this has such cute images on it too. Very beachy. A lot of uh, starfish and um, palm trees and really beautiful dolphin images here. And then on the back side you got like a buffet style plate. So a ton more dolphin images which I am obsessed with. This gorgeous mermaid right here and more starfish, more seahorse, um, some smaller shells and stuff very uh, great size for a smaller nail
right, and that is the finished look right there. And it is definitely not coming off correct on camera, but I turned my flash on so you could get that sparkle. And I'm gonna take you over to the daylight here, uh, get out of my dark little corner and <laughs> take you over to the window and show you what this really looks like because this color is so beautiful, so let's do that. Okay guys, so here is the finished look in the daylight. Um, it's still pulling just a little bit on the blue side. It's a tiny bit more green than it's showing. I will try to insert some pictures at the end, do some color adjusting on it to get it to show up as true to life as possible. But there's the finished look. I'm in love with it. They're so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to say happy National Nail Tech Day to all the nail techs out there. And that's it guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.